Now, welcome to another lightning response video, where this time the question comes to us from Alistar Gray, who asked, Hey Thor, I'm curious what you think about the light side of the Force. Being that it was an invention of the EU and not Lucas, it creates a lot of misinterpretations and misconceptions among fans. I'm just curious if you think this might be part of why Disney Star Wars is moving the way they are. Alright, so I'm going to start by pointing out something that I think a lot of fans may not know or believe or they simply never realized it about the first two Star Wars trilogies, about the original trilogy and the prequels, or the Lucas trilogies if you prefer, which is that the words light side of the force are never uttered in those movies. It's simply not a thing in them. The light side of the force, as it's commonly referred to by many today, as I myself tend to call it, isn't a thing. Instead there is simply the force and the dark side. And the only time the Force gets referred to as anything more descriptive than that, you could say, more than just the Force, is when Luke refers to it as the good side at one point in Return of the Jedi when talking to Leia about saving their father. He won't turn me over to the Emperor. I can save him. I can turn him back to the good side. This then tends to say that the dark side is then the bad or evil side, that there is nothing good or inherently useful about it, or even a need for it, and George Lucas himself has even described it as something akin to cancer. And cancer serves absolutely no purpose in the body other than to destroy it. It is, in a sense, a corruption or perversion of normal cells, the same way the dark side of the Force caused by those who use it is a corruption or perversion of the Force that serves no purpose. Which is then why balance in Star Wars is not a mixture of dark and light, which is mistakenly believed by many today thanks to in part, I'd say, as the comment points out, this sort of change in terminology and saying dark and light instead of the Force and the dark side. Balance in Star Wars, or of the Force, was originally meant to be the absence of the dark side, the absence of a cancer that serves no purpose, and if left unchecked, will lead to ruin. And this is what the Jedi fight for or against. They fight against the dark side. They do not fight for the light side of the Force. They fight for THE Force. They fight to keep it in balance. With balance in this case meaning harmony or a system working as intended, which the Force does when free of the corruption of the dark side. In other words, this more recent belief or explanation of the Force, that it's almost like this spectrum, that it ranges from light to dark and that there is some sort of in-between those two, or that some type of gray exists in between them, is all wrong. Rather, there is only a binary choice. You can either use the Force, or you can use the dark side, which, yeah, blows the idea of something like Grey Jedi completely out of the water, or the idea that you can use a mixture of the two somehow, because you can't flip a coin and have it come up anything but heads or tails, just like you can't use the dark side and the Force at the same time. They are entirely opposite things. One side is the antithesis of the other. To use both at the same time would be like trying to paddle a boat upstream and downstream at the same time. And so going back to the comment, I think it's clear that for better or worse, and thanks in part to the EU, you can argue, Disney era Star Wars has the wrong idea of what the Force is or how it originally worked or was meant to be. And I say originally because even George Lucas in later years or more recently, he has used the term a light side of the force. His concepts of it seem to have maybe changed to at least some small degree. I don't think he's changed the whole fundamental ideas, but some things have changed to some degree. And I think we may have seen some of that in his sequel trilogy, but I suppose we'll never know. Either way to now actually answer the question in the comment, Yes, I do think Disney Star Wars is both intentionally and because of a lack of understanding. I think they're going more in the direction of the Force being a spectrum that ranges from light to dark rather than a binary, and that maybe balance is in between there somewhere, despite that being just completely wrong. And the reason for this is, as I just said, partly because they don't get it, they don't get what Lucas was originally going for, or maybe they just don't care, but also because they likely feel the classic tale of good versus evil doesn't sell very well these days. That people want more complexity and moral ambiguity in their stories. That the traditional completely virtuous hero doesn't sell as well as, say, a good anti-hero. And the thing is, I don't think they're necessarily even wrong about that. I think what people tend to expect out of entertainment has changed or evolved in more recent years. Since shows like Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad have shown us what kind of stories can be told, and how well and complex and engaging they can be when it's not as simple as the good guys versus the bad guys. 
That said, there will always be a place, if not a need, for classic stories of good versus evil and the heroes and villains that populate those stories. Every generation needs its heroes, and I think Star Wars has the perfect structure in place, or at least had, for those type of more classic stories, ones that could inspire generations, like Star Wars has done in the past. And though I don't think it always has to be that, for example, I think you can have a show like Andor in Star Wars from time to time, something a little more morally ambiguous, and that's just fine. But I think idealistic heroes that champion selflessness and fight for a cause greater than the self, that show sacrifice is sometimes required if not demanded of you in order to do what is right, is exactly the type of stories the world will always need, and something the Star Wars franchise should never stray too far from. Well, that's all I got for you this time. Now it's your turn to take to the comments below, and you can either tell me what you think about all this, or you can leave a question for a future lightning response video. Just start that comment off with, hey Thor, and then ask away. Whatever you choose to do, leave a comment below, and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.